The crypto markets are currently on a pause as Bitcoin and the altcoins both attempt to have relief rallies in what has been a bit of a bloodbath this week. However, we're going to be showing you the key pieces of data that you need to be looking at to get a sense as to whether we're going to be resuming this incredible bull run that we've been experiencing over the last few weeks. So if you guys are excited to hear what you need to be looking at over the next few days to understand the macro direction of this market, then do me a favor and absolutely destroy that like button. And of course, remember that each and every comment on this video will enter you to win your very own Ledger Nano S. And of course, if you want to win that Ledger, you need to be a subscriber. So all of you commenting down below, I see you guys, you're not subscribed. You got to hit that sub button and you need to put that little bell notification on. It's good for your health. Fear, politics, and the US dollar. This article says it all. Because as we saw last week, the rally out of the US dollar as it compares to a basket of foreign exchange currencies had a major rally. And that major rally took the wind out of the sails of not just Bitcoin, but the mainstream stock market, specifically the NASDAQ, which I have been comparing to the Bitcoin chart since early July. And that's for good reason, because they're playing almost identically in the market. And that to me is a huge indicator that the recent bullishness in the all coins and specifically in Bitcoin are highly correlated to what's going on with equities. Of course, the US dollar being put into equities is a way to multiply those US dollars. And when the US dollar strengthens, it's only logical that the value of those equities, the value of that property and the value of that cryptocurrency needs to drop somewhat for the values to be aligned. In the end, we've seen a nice little rally here out of the dollar over the last few days, but it's looking like that could be slowing down. As legendary Bitcoin bull Max Kaiser tweeted, we need the DXY to drop through 80 to get the real fireworks going in Bitcoin and gold. Now, right now you can see DXY is sitting comfortably above 90, so we still have a while to go there, but a reversal of this trend, which I think is just a relief rally, of course, with all of the money printing going on, I believe is just a temporary set of circumstances. However, we need to be looking a little bit deeper to understand that there are macro factors here, specifically the stimulus and further money printing that is going to be a huge influence on whether equities continue to soar and essentially the market continues to be flooded with excess liquidity as it has been since March. To this effect, we just got a statement out of President Donald Trump saying that he wants to appropriate some of the remaining $300 billion from the original relief package passed back in March to use some of that to send a second stimulus bill. We have $300 billion in an account that we didn't use. Trump said. I would be willing to release it subject to Congress and use that stimulus money and it would go right to the American people. According to Fox Business, Trump may be referring to money appropriated for small business loans as part of the CARES Act, the $2.2 trillion stimulus package that Congress approved in March. Congress appropriated $500 billion. Of that amount, $454 billion was appropriated to cover losses on lending programs. Of that funding, $259 billion remains uncommitted. Money that we built up, money that we haven't spent, and I would be willing to give to the American people is a very powerful stimulus. I think that there is a theory that I could do it without having to go back, but I think it would be appropriate to go back and I would ask Congress to approve it. It's a very simple approval. It's literally a one sentence approval and the Democrats should do that. The Republicans will do that. They would be glad to do that. Congress is back in session tomorrow and the Democrats want at least a $2.2 trillion bill here. However, the current bill being proposed looks like it's a $500 billion bill, which is a step down from the $1 trillion bill that the Republicans had originally proposed. So I don't know how they're going to find a middle ground here, but it seems like the Speaker Pelosi is unwilling to sit down and negotiate unless there's something like a two and a half trillion dollar bill being agreed to. So there's a high level game of chess happening here between the Democrats and the Republicans. And really the loser is the American economy right now as we have no stimulus and have really run dry on those programs since July 31st. Like I said, the outcome of this, just like the outcome of the first stimulus this bill will have a direct impact on how fast and how far this bull run goes. And of course, passing more stimulus will inevitably weaken the dollar that we've been talking about here and bring this relief rally back down to earth. Those two factors, I believe, are of the most important in the entire space for understanding the next step of where Bitcoin goes. And of course, if Bitcoin is only to stabilize and become boring again, then I believe the alts will see yet another flurry of activity as this DeFi bull run does not want to quit. 
But before we get that confirmation, the market is still somewhat on a pause, which is a bit annoying as we're used to making 10Xs literally every single day, bro. So I understand your frustration, but that's the reality is that you could go hard on altcoins right now, but if we take another step down, you're probably gonna get hit hard. Whereas if we get confirmation of another round of stimulus, of another round of direct checks to the American people, if we see the dollar start to pull back a bit, announce a lot more money printing, these types of things will have a huge macro impact on the entire market, whether that's mainstream equities like the NASDAQ or cryptocurrencies. If you guys are familiar with Peter Schiff, I really enjoyed this. I'm gonna do a little bit of memory over the next few minutes it's because, hey, we're waiting for a little bit of confirmation here from the market, and so why not have a little fun and crack some jokes? Here we have Peter Schiff, the legendary anti-Bitcoin gold bug, saying, against my advice, my son, Schiff Spencer, just bought even more Bitcoin. Whose advice do you want to follow? A 57-year-old experienced investor business owner who's been an investment professional for over 30 years or an 18-year-old college freshman who's never had a job? And 22,628 votes came in with a resounding conclusion that they trust the kid, 80% to 20%. Sorry, Peter, no one cares about your resume. Everyone's betting big on Bitcoin. I love this. And again, we see article after article talking about the same thing, which is that we're gonna come down and fill the CME futures gap, that we're gonna touch the 21 week exponential moving average, bounce up and hopefully continue this bull run. Let's hope that that's the case. And let's hope that this is in confluence with the announcement of new stimulus, which would really drive the point home and inject rocket fuel into both the NASDAQ as well as the cryptocurrency markets. Let's hope for all of our sakes that that's the case. But again, we have no confirmation and we see article after article saying the exact same thing. I also, as my Twitter has gotten bigger, it's really nice to get pulses from the market as sentiment is one of the most important things for you to analyze here in crypto land. How greedy is the market? How fearful is the market? And so I did this poll yesterday. We got about 1,200 votes in and I asked, is the market bullish, bearish, or you tell me? And we got way more people saying that it was bullish. Quite a few people abstaining here, about one out of three. But of those who voted, we see a resounding feeling that it is a bull market. It's just on a bullish pullback. And so I then asked, what's the most undervalued coin in the market right now? And as you can see, I got 867 responses, not even within a day. So what I thought was really interesting here is as we scroll through, you pretty much don't see any coins being repeated. A lot of times you see the same coins over and over and over again, but I don't even think I've seen one repeat in this whole scroll. And that's very interesting to see. It shows you that there's a lot of different projects with a lot of different communities being built and buzz. It's a very broad market, not a very deep market. And so that bodes extremely well as there's a lot of people spread out over a lot of different projects and the eclecticness, the variety is good. Good. However, it shows you that there's not a huge amount of people supporting any individual coin, which could mean that they're all kind of thinly supported, which is why we're waiting for the market to turn more bullish before we start talking about more of these coins. Feel free to click through with the links in the description to my Twitter, and you can add your own opinion below this thread. Anyway, I'm enjoying using the Twitter to get pulses from the market and start to survey sentiment, as this does help me inform my own content in the altcoin space. And this is one trader's interpretation of what it's like trading these markets. Certainly, if you're trying to hop on the latest, hottest yield farming clone of YFI, this is certainly how it feels like, that every time you jump into the hot one, it turns cold and another one pops up. This is kind of just the nature of altcoin season and why it can be such a tricky market to trade. Because at times, it seems like there's no rhyme or reason to it. And so if you're feeling like this, just know you're not alone and that this happens to the vast majority of us, especially when we're early in the markets. So you're not alone have no fear there is a future for you where you can understand this stuff a little better and at least hedge against the risks in some positive news we have ETH devs weighing a gas rule change to ease transaction fee pressure when things get really congested and so an ethereum smart contract feature that offers rebates for fees has developers scratching their heads wondering if they should toss the old code in light of an rise in transaction costs. So this is something that, of course, we're going to keep seeing new instances of, which is how do we control the fee nightmare on Ethereum, which got way out of control with your average Uniswap fees ranging from $30 upwards of $60 for what would even more sadly become a failed transaction, meaning $60 just completely burnt into thin air. And for the smaller bag holders, that is just completely ridiculous and prices them out. So we'll see. Hopefully we can get some progress on the ETH gas fee situation, but that is yet unknown. 
unknown. Obviously, at times like this, we get lots of memory, sometimes to the negative, but it's okay to laugh a little bit. This is showing to the moon, <laughs> not realizing which direction the moon is. It's okay to have fun. It's okay to laugh. And if you're sitting there looking for even more of a fundamental explanation for the Bitcoin sell-off, look no further than China's monsoon season. That's right. Rainstorms in China might be the reason for this sell-off. Now, I'm not putting my stamp of approval on this theory, but it's worth looking at that so far, 70 million people have been affected by this year's monsoon season, costing China a record $30 billion, $29 billion. Some of the biggest mining pools in the world, such as Pool and Slush Pool and, and How BTC, have been negatively affected by this year's rainstorms as miners have had to unplug in response to decreased electricity flowing from hydroelectric power plants operating at low to zero capacity. When mining farms are shut down, they can't mine crypto assets and thus they lose revenue. When miners lose revenue, they're forced to sell off the crypto that they've accumulated to continue paying expenses such as property leases. So essentially what they're saying is that when tough times hit the mining industry, that they have to sell off more crypto than they normally would, essentially offsetting the buyers and sellers balance and crash the price. Maybe that makes you feel a little better. It's just worth noting that there's yet another reason that would be temporary as to why these markets are falling. So there you have it. We have a lot of macro factors from federal stimulus to the rally of the dollar to tropical rainstorms in China that could be causing some of this Bitcoin dip. Of course, the reality probably just lies in it being a healthy pullback on an excessive bull run that we've all been benefiting from. But time will tell. And it looks like we should have an answer to a lot of these questions within the next few days. And once we get a bullish confirmation, I'll be unleashing on you a wave, a monsoon of new altcoins for you to pick from as there are a lot of juicy opportunities in this market. However, before we get the confirmation, I just need to be a little bit cautious as I've had about 40,000 new subscribers on this channel. And from what I can tell, a lot of them are completely new to the space since just a few weeks ago. And so I have to take a course of caution because a lot of people's risk tolerance and ability to lose money essentially might be significantly lower than me. So that's why I'm not going full bolt hard here and telling you to go all in on the dip. However, the reality is I'm certainly eyeing this as an amazing dip. And as soon as we get a bullish confirmation, I'm gonna start unleashing the old playbook on you guys. And we're gonna start hitting those doubles, triples, fives and 10 Xs. I believe that that's in the future. However, just to play it safe, we wanna make sure that this thing isn't gonna capitulate further as the alts might get hit insanely hard in that situation. So if you guys are excited to hear what comes next. I'll be keeping you up to date each and every day, and I highly encourage you guys to subscribe, as as soon as I get this confirmation that things turn bullish, I'm going to be putting out some very time-sensitive content, and you're not going to want to miss it. So I encourage you guys to hit the sub button, and don't forget to press that little bell notification, as that way you're made aware exactly when I put my videos out, and that's really the best way to stay up to date. If you guys didn't already comment below to win your Ledger Nano S, I encourage you guys to do so, as each and every comment is entered to win and of course you need to be a subscriber if you want to actually win i see a lot of you guys not subscribed so you got to fix that if you want to connect with me personally please follow my twitter and join my telegram group t.me slash crypto the links for both of those are in the description as usual i hope you guys are doing well i thank you so much for watching my name's elio trades and i'll see you very soon on the next episode